Hey guys, Liam here from Gaming on Linux. Today, Valve has released the latest version of Proton. This is the compatibility layer that runs Windows games on Steam Deck and Linux desktops. Proton 7.0-4 brings with it newly playable games like Aquarist My First Job, Trove, Chuzzle Deluxe, Karma Flow, the rock opera video game, The Rising of Shield Hero, Relive the Animation, and Disgaea 5. And also Zuma's Revenge as well, which you will see here on your screen right now. This was me testing it out a little bit on my Steam Deck earlier. There's quite a lot of bug fixes that come with Proton 7.0-4 as well, including Elden Ring getting stuck on a white screen on first launch. There's a fix for Chrono Trigger and Adventure Pals crashing during cutscenes. Video playback is fixed for Postal Brain Damaged and Lost Ember. Hard space shipbreaker failing to connect to online services, and absolutely loads more like Bloons TD6 crashing on touch input. Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Zombies and Black Ops 2 Multiplayer will now work online properly. Garbled audio in Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak is also fixed, and the list just goes on for a little while. I will put a link to the changelog in the description of this video. This is just your usual quick news tip that a new version of Proton is available to go and download in your Steam library. Every release that we have of Proton brings us that little bit further towards even more compatibility for the tens of thousands of games that are on Steam. Valve have an absolutely huge mountain to climb when it comes to achieving 100% compatibility on Steam. 100% might never be hit because there's always going to be issues, especially when brand new games come out. But as long as Valve keep pushing hard on Proton and keep trying to get developers involved before they release their games to get it working with Proton and Steam Deck, as we've already seen with the likes of Spider-Man, things are getting better. That's all for now. I will catch you next time.